Here at the helm, there's a lot going on, but I will try to make this video not too long. After you've turned the key, the battery switches on down there. You can turn the key switches on here and then lower the engines or raise the engines down. Once you power these up, the Mercury vessel view will start up. It's like a computer, it takes a little time, so that'll come up. And then we have our chart plotters here. So we've got charts, fish finder, radar, dashboard. So that'll show engine data and navigation data and then any kind of combo you want as well. Also does the stereo, so you can control the stereo from here. You can mute them or make them loud, all up here. You also have a control here for the Fusion, so if I were to go there and unmute, you'll see it also unmutes here. So unmute, unmute it there. Um, popping in quickly, to here, I won't go into the chart and all that operation today on this video, but if we go to dashboard, the connected part which works with the C-Zone system on the boat are all these lights. So right now, these blue lights are on. I just turned them on there. So that's a blue overhead courtesy light. I can turn it on here. I can also turn it on and off here. So I will turn it off here, and it turns off here. If I push down, it turns on the white, and I can turn it off here. I can do my anchor lights here, or on the switch. Oh, when you have your courtesy lights on, it does not like having the navigation lights on, so it gives you a warning, so that's okay. Navigation lights, I can turn them off. Uh, floodlights, I can turn on and off here. The sunshade, I can control in, out. So that sunshade is now going out over the back. But I can also stop it right here and bring it back in. We have along the top in physical buttons, nav or anchor, so nav light is up. Again, gives you that warning. And down is anchor lights. And to turn it off, you just push that same direction again. Courtesy lights, blue is up, white is down, and off. Flood lights forward, flood lights aft, off, and off. Uh, underwater lights, Auxiliary, so this is manual override for the bilge pumps, manual override for the forward bilge, sunshade, forward and aft, the defroster up on the up on the windshields. When you want to use your anchor windlass, you turn it on, and then you can control it here, up down. But you can also use the controller up on the bow. And in order to use the controller on the bow, you do have to have it turned on here first. So if this is off, the control on the bow will not work and this won't work either. Moving through here is the port vent and the starboard vent and close. Fish boxes, so if you wanna pump out the cockpit fish boxes, you can do the port on off and then starboard down on off. Same as the live well, you can turn it on here. I won't do it because it'll pump water in. And the wiper here. Um, if you push and hold it, you'll get a spray, but of course it's winterized today, so pink stuff will come out, so I'm not going to do that. But if you just turn on the wiper once, you get the wiper blades going across. The spray comes from the water in the holding tank uh, on the boat. So if it's winterized like today, it'll be pink, um, so it doesn't freeze. And if it's clear water, of course, you can spray it as much as you want. And then a quick horn. This has fired up here, so you can register it, of course, for you. Engine oil is okay. We can start the engines. There's somebody just in the back right now, so I won't. Fuel is full. 
engine RPMs. You can see the trim. So if I trim the engine, I'm trimming the engines up. You can see them coming up on the display and going back down. You can get more information about the fuel by tapping on anything. And then hitting that X. And tap on the RPM, you get more engine data. You can go through here for autopilot controls, engine controls, and maintenance items and things like that all through here. Other things on the dash is your spotlight. So you can turn it on here and then control your spotlight. You can bring it back home to center it up. Fast and slow mode is here. And uh, one, two, you won't use, that's if you have two spotlights controlling it with one control. So you just use, you won't use that button here. Trim tab, so the engine, or the, the trim tabs are in all the way right now. If I bring them down, they're deploying and then come up. So it's just an indicator, it's manual, it's not automatic, but it does show you where they are. And then we have our joystick here. I'll do another video on the joystick and the shifters.